Hi, this is Noma Dimitri from a small mountain trail high up in the French Alps. I may be smiling, but I'm not happy. The snow is melting. Uh, what a disaster. What a disaster this winter has been. You know, there's just so many weird phenomena, but I've never seen a winter like this one. January and already the snow is starting to melt. You can see little bits of it left here and there. Uh, and you can see behind me, right over here, the tall, you see how tall the mountain is? It just goes on and on and on. And there's still snow up here, but you can see lots of patches of non-white, which means that it's melting over here. It's kind of an ecological disaster for this area. There are lots of things that are not going to go on well in the spring. Um, when the heat, when the spring comes, there's lots of things that will be disturbed. Um, not least of which pests. Pests that normally freeze and are very unhappy when it's cold um, will actually not die. Uh, so expect lots of infestations and lots of horrors of that sort when spring comes. Um, also it'll be a bad time for a lot of buds, a lot of trees, uh, their natural cycle will be disturbed, a lot of seeds that really need the cold and the freezing to burst in the spring are not going to work out. You can see already what's going on right over here. Um, you can see that already all kinds of lichens are becoming green and getting ready for spring. This is completely a seasonal. This should be buried in snow. Um, you can see the hummus uh, over here underneath the leaves. It's starting, to, it's starting to get created. The ground is not really frozen. The earth is beginning to crumble uh, is already crumbly and ready. That means seeds are going to start popping up pretty soon, um, which is not a good idea because it's still not February and a cold front can come and just kill them all. Um, I won't even talk about animals. One of the animals that actually is having a good time with all this, and we shouldn't disregard them because they're lovely, is the birds, especially the little birdies. Uh, the little birdies are having a grand old time because normally they have no food at this time of the year and right now there's plenty of food all over here as insects are beginning to crawl out of their hiding places um, on this early time so birdies are doing very well um, and um, and even the big birds the eagles and the the falcons they're doing really well because guess who's waking up and coming out of their little holes like over here um, all around there are little tiny holes all kinds of mice and even lizards I saw a lizard in January in the Alps in six at 6,000 feet. That's absolutely unheard of um, so So some are profiting from this and some are not but all in all it's a major disturbance in the normal cycle of these mountain lands and very very sad uh, you can see how nice this is a I'm in a beach forest um, and these are all beaches, you can see them, and you can see the thick, the thick carpet of leaves that they make. Beaches make these wonderful leaves. They are copper colored, um, and they're fairly hardy. They don't go into mush really quickly. Um, here they are. These are beach leaves. Look how pretty they are. Beautiful color. Rust. Um, so they're pretty hardy, so they don't just uh, turn into mush really quickly. They release their energy to the soil slowly, slowly. Um, and they keep a very nice kind of insulation on the ground, kind of protecting it from, protecting the earth from very high differentials in temperature. So they keep the heat in and they keep the cold from getting in. It's kind of like a cushion. It's like a sweater for the earth. And if I scratch them here, if I scratch them here, you will see the very, very, ooh, you see how thick, how thick the layer is. And you will see the wonderful soil that's underneath. Can you see any of this? Yes, you can see now. Um, you can see what the soil looks like underneath. And you can see the little green things. Right, there we go. Little green things that are actually popping out, um, even in this season. Um, this is, this is, makes a wonderful hummus. Uh, that will nourish the new growth in the spring. Um, otherwise, what else do I have to show you? You can see how the, the beaches actually become fairly large. There are some large ones here, a couple of hundred years old almost, and you can see how they kind of start to spread out and they colonize. They're very agile climbers, the beaches. So this is a, a fairly steep slope. You can't really tell. 
um, and they're they have pretty solid root system and very solid trunks and they can do very very well in these steep lands that I'm in. So here's the background and down there, I don't know if you can see, there's a village. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see the village. So there are some village houses on the other side, just underneath this very very tall mountain. Uh, but the village is very old from the Middle Ages, so this is a clue that there are no avalanches here because um, the people from the Middle Ages were not stupid, they knew where to build and they knew where avalanches were coming and no one was about to build the house underneath an avalanche drop. So the fact that there's a village here is telling us that this mountain doesn't, doesn't create avalanches to go down. Uh, finally, I want to show which way I'm heading, it's so pretty. Look, this is the path that I'm following. It's kind of like a trail inside the forest, um, skirting the mountainside. Noma Dimitri from a very, very early spring in January in the French Alps. Hopefully things will change, hopefully there will be snow, hopefully nature will continue in its normal way and I'll go back to skiing. Happy trails!